What's going on guys, you're on with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, we had our very first boss battle against Skarmory. P.S. We destroyed it. And um, today we're going to be finding out how we can have Pokemon join our rescue team. So we're going to have to head off to Pokemon Square and talk to Wigglytuff. Oh, hey look, he was a little late at stalking our house this morning. Morning, Hardy. Aha, what's the matter? You haven't woken up yet? Oh, you've been having strange dreams? What was so strange about them? Oh, you know, Gardevoir and everything. Hmm, okay. Hardy, you said you're actually a human, right? So maybe those dreams have some connection to how you became a Pokemon, Hardy. By the way, Hardy, what do you want to do? Do you want to turn back into a human? It's true. I haven't thought about it much, but do I want to become a human again? Um, yeah. Who wants to be a Psyduck forever? Oh, okay. Well, I suppose so. Since you were a human to begin with, it's only natural you would want to go back to that being one. Anyway, when you were a human, what kind of person were you, Hardy? When I was a human... Huh. What was I like when I was a human, anyway? Nope, I can't remember a thing. Yet I remember I was a human, because, you know, why not? Hmm. Oh well, you've forgotten. That's okay, there's no rush to remember anything. But this is you, Hardy. I'm sure you are a good human being. Anyways, we were supposed to go to Pokemon Square today. Do you remember? We need to get information on how we can add members to the rescue team. Let's get going. Awesome. Oh hey, look who's actually leading the way. Cyndaquil's actually doing something. Oh, never mind. It's always me. It's always me. I have to do absolutely everything, because why not? Anyways, here's Wigglytuff. He's going to tell us how to how to do things. Friends are treasures. Welcome to Wigglytuff's club. A circle of... You know, no, Wigglytuff needs a better voice than that. Friends are treasures. Welcome to Wigglytuff's club. A circle of friends. Uh oh, is this your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You started a rescue team, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I sell friend areas to add members to your friend's rescue team. Since you're here for the very first time, I'll give you two friend areas for free. Let's do it. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends. Ta ha! Yeah! -ya. Congratulations! You can now go to Wild Plains now. You can also go to the Mist Rats Forest. Now you can add a recruit Pokemon that live in these two friend areas. How do you recruit new Pokemon members? Well, if you're fighting a Pokemon that lives in a friend area, sometimes they will go to admire you as a friend. In that case, they may ask you to join your team. Just keep trying. <laughs> If you get friends away, areas away, can you also give friends access to the power plant friend area? I also want to join the team rescue team. Okay, gotcha. I'm giving it away today. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends. Ta ha ha. Congratulations, you can also go to the power plant. Yes, now I can join their team. <laughs> yeah, Magnemite sounds. Sorry, I know my friend turned down your offer to join their team yesterday. But after mulling it over all night, my friend developed an overwhelming desire to become your team member. I apologize, but can you also allow my friend to join your team? Oh, wow. Don't forget we're the ones who then asked your friend to join us. So, yes, that'd be awesome. Glad to have your friend on board. All right, go it on you. Bzz, bzz. Do your best and try not to hinder your rescue teams. Me, bzz. Hey, at least he's not going to be forever alone now because you and your two little butt buddies are going to go become magnet magnetons. Jerks. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah, bzz, bzz, bzz. Magnemite became a team member. Yeah. Give a nickname to Magnemite? Of course we're going to give a nickname to Magnemite. We're going to nickname him... Um, I'm, I'm going to nickname him... Um, what should we nickname a Magnemite? Let, let's, like, let's nickname him... Um, Charlie. Because... <laughs> I don't know. Why not Charlie? I mean... Do you guys have a better nickname for a Magnemite? Because I sure as heck don't have one. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie knows what's up. I'll be resting up in the power plant friend area. If you make Mike want me along for a rescue, come get me at the power plant. Okay, bzz, bzz, bzz. goodbye. I expect free meals and food and all that stuff. You can go to the friend area it's by taking a left path from your rescue team base. There's a sign on the path to the left of your rescue team base, so you shouldn't have any trouble. That's all the giveaways today. If you want more friend areas, you have to buy them now. Okay, well, what's can I buy? Friends of my treasures, welcome to Wiggly Tough Club, a circle of friends. If you'd like to add your friend areas, which ones would you like? Um. How about. Ooh, what's Transform Forest? Let's see, Inhabitants, a boulder. Sh okay, can we actually find one like, will tell us what it. No, wait, no, I don't want to buy it yet. What well, tell us, like, what Pokemon you can get there? Geodude. Okay, Geodude actually could be pretty cool. Okay, let's get that one. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends. Yeah, but yeah. Congratulations, you can now go to Mount Deep Green now. 
You can recruit a Pokemon? Okay, you know, I'm tired of doing Wiggly Tuff's voice because it's starting to hurt my throat. So, um, let's look at these other ones. What else can we get? None or no Nair. Nidoran? Mm, maybe. Pidgey. <gasps> Pidgey, 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 Pidgey. Oh, I love me some Pidgey. I love Pidgey. Pidgeys are so adorable. I want every Pidgey in the whole world. <laughs> I love Pidgey. Sunkern. Oh my god, yeah, I'm totally going to get a Sunkern. Beldum, 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 Beldum. Him. Oh wait, that's right. He can't even evolve till after the game's already over. So <laughs> well, that kind of seems like a waste now. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's go get a job, and then we'll go do our first adventure with Magnemite. So happy face, awesome. Let's see what we got on the job board today. We have um, still everything's all rate level E. Let's see. Let's fail to return. Let's see what the info on this one is. Trouble may have found Rattata. Rescue is urgently needed by Ball Toy. Um, I'm scared. 100 poke plus mystery? Okay, you know what? let's do that one. That one seems fun. And job list. Let's take this job. Alright guys, let's gotta go get Magnemite now because we're gonna go on some big awesome job adventure and we, we totally get... Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Oh wow, I wasn't even reading that. That's like what he just happened to say. <laughs> there seems to be a commotion. Oh look, it's a, it's a Nuzleaf. That's cool. It's Nuzlocke. He <laughs> he. Please help, my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But my friend needs a guest to win, please. Hey, what's going on? Hmm, that scene there. Jump was begging for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. See that guy? There's one in the middle with the pointy nose. He's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But this team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jump Love's begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait. Oh boy, look at that group of badasses. <laughs> Alakazam, Tyranitar, and Charizard. Whoa. Oh, wh what do you want? Oh, it's Alakazam. That's Alakazam. Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? To save Jumpwolf's friend, a strong wind is needed. Your leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Help that Pokemon out. Um, awkward. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Wait, why is he up that way? That's not where the dungeons are. That shift you agreed without any argument. Say, who are they? What? You don't know? It's Alakazam's team. They're the most famous rescue team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. That's Tyranitar. He takes great pride in his armored body and amazing strength. And that's the leader and the most sexiest, Alakazam. Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He fights with his psychic powers. He's endowed with an amazing brain and an IQ of over 5,000. I, I don't think that's even possible, but okay. Apparently he's memorized everything that's happened in the world. Alakazam does all kind of commanding in the team. He's clearly in charge. Thank you. No need to thank us. It's only natural to get help. If anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. Alakazam, he, he's such a caring guy. I wouldn't expect less from a gold rank rescue team. Hmm. What's wrong? What's up, boss? It's fine. Nothing. Let's go. Cool guy, walk away, handshake thing. Hmm. That was scary. Sheesh. C cool. Hey, Hardy. We like. We need to become like them. Let's recruit more members and make our rescue team first class. Awesome. Oh look, it's Gengar. Not if I can help it. <laughs> evil plan noises stick out tongue because I'm totally evil. <sighs> the next, wait, no, I ain't even going to go on my mission. What the heck? No, hey. We just, we're leaving poor Rattata there. Good morning, Hardy. Flap, flap, flap. Noise, noise, noise. We don't need to go rescue Rattata. Rattata sucks. We're just going to continue on ignoring Rattata. I hope it dies on Mount Silver. I don't even know who's talking, but we obviously hate them. Accepting rescue jobs. If you want to go on a rescue job listed on the bulletin board at the Pelper's Post Office or one that's delivered to your mailbox, you first need to accept a job, then choose Take Dob. Only then will you be able to handle... Okay, you know, we've already done that like three times, so can't really think that it... we need that to happen. Anyways, let's go visit Charlie and get him in our party. Charlie, bro. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. It appears to be a little sleepy, but it's still full of energy. Join team. Charlie, join a rescue team for adventures. Good boy, Charlie. Alright, let's, um, that's the pond. 
No, wait, where, where are we? I want to get back to Pokemon Square. Caterpie. There we go. All right, let's go rescue Rattata now because it's just here being a wimpy little wimping wimp Pokemon. Wimp. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I believe we got to go to the eighth floor, which is pretty much like right up there at the top. So, got to take a... Oh, what just happened? Walter grew to level 11. Are you going to get Ember? Nope, still not getting Ember. When does Cyndaquil learn Ember? Jeez. I guess it could be the same about freaking... Um, I don't have Water Gun yet. Where is... When do you actually learn Water Gun? Because it's been an extremely long time. <laughs> and still no Water Gun. So, kind of freaking me out a little. Let's get our HP back. And... Oh! It's a Pidge. It's a, it's a Fero thing. Let's attack it. And everyone group up and kill him. Stepped on a max lecture. Oh, I gotta use an item. Okay, good good boy, Charlie. Never mind. Charlie got it. Good for him. Walter regained PP. Okay. Because Walter totally needed that. I mean... If anybody here needed PP, you really think it was Walter? Just out of curiosity. I can't imagine it was overly important to have. So... Why, why did you give it to him? You could have saved that. We could have used it at like an important time, Charlie. But no. You, you choose to use it now, of all times. I trusted you to be a good teammate person guy. And you just, you did nothing but disappoint me. And I'm very upset with you so far. This is a, not a very good teammate. I mean, we just, we, we give him a home. We let him join our team. And he repays us by throwing max elixirs at us. That's kind of mean. Not going to lie. Um, he should have a little more respect, if you ask me. We're going to have to have a little talk with Magnemite later tonight. You know, by a little talk, I mean we're going to have to whip him. Because that's obviously how you teach people things in the Pokemon world. You whip them. You, you make them bend over. You call them, you call them dirty names. You just, you whip them real hard. You got to teach him a lesson. You got to teach him to respect. Got to, got to teach him what it feels like to be a man. Wait a minute. Wait, what are we talking about here? Are we, are we still talking about like the whole respect thing? Or are we getting into something completely different? Because I'm starting to get a little worried about this conversation. Not going to lie. Um, I'm going to assume we're going to stay the clean route here and pretend that we're not getting into very awkward conversations. But I can't help but feel like that may not be true. Wait, we're going to spear wants to chase us. How adorable is that? He wants to be off. Fr oh, poop. <laughs> wow, way to ruin the party, Aron. We're just... We're trying to run away from this Spiro, and you just had to ruin that. Are we going to get Water Gun now? No, still no Water Gun? Really? When are we actually going to learn Water Gun? That's, that's freaking crazy. We should have it by now. Oh, there's the stairs. No, we're almost there. Magnemite, you can take care of that Spiro. Oh, shoot, you know Thundershock. Wow, that is really awesome to know, actually. Um, I, I have a happy face, because you have Thundershock. And you're actually more useful than Cyndaquil now. Congratulations, because Cyndaquil hasn't done anything useful so far, besides Smokescreen. Smokescreen has been somewhat useful. I, I will give you that. I'm glad people told me to put Smokescreen back on, because I didn't realize that it, like, guaranteed that they would miss. That's actually pretty awesome. So, um, we've got to be getting close to the stairs now. I think, like I said, we have to go to the 8th floor, and... We got a Tyro. Why does there got to be so many Pokemon here? I mean, I know this is probably good for like leveling up and everything, but see, this is the time when I really need freaking Water Gun, freaking Geo dudes, and just the big scary mean rock things. And I can't do anything to them because they're freaking Geo dudes. I mean, they like resist. Okay, never mind. I can one shot Geo dudes, but still, they're just they're getting me a little worried. That oh boy, the four changed. You know we mean business when the four changes. That's that's when things get scary. Um, bide? Yeah, I'm totally just gonna attack you while you're biting. Let's, um, moves. Water sport. <laughs> no, it's tail whip, because, I don't know. Storing energy still. Um, okay, we will attack again. Or, we will not attack. We will use water spout, because nothing better. Why does it have 19 PP? Shouldn't you have given up? Okay, when are you, how long are you gonna store energy? Okay. I probably should have saw that one coming. <laughs> right when I attack, he decides, oh, I can't hold it anymore. Okay, yeah, that actually sounds like really dirty. You know, he can't hold it in anymore. He releases all his energy. Meditite, you, you're, you're a dirty little poke. Oh, my God. We're out of PP. 
on freaking scratch. That's that's fantastic. The one move we need, we are now out of PP on, meaning that we pretty much can't use it anymore. It all we could. Oh, screw that! I'm just gonna walk the other way. Please kill it. There we go. Yeah, kill it. Attack it. Do something useful. Please send a quill. Stop being a waste of skin. There we go. Please learn Ember. Yes! Oh my god, Ember! Finally! Cyndaquil! It only took, like, two hours for you to actually learn Ember. That is a very long time to wait for someone to learn a Pokemon move. You just you should probably, probably look into your slowness. I'm a little worried that Cyndaquil, you might be a little slow. There's nothing wrong with that. I want to point that out. There's nothing wrong with being just a little slow. But if it takes you that long to learn Ember... You reached the destination floor. All right, so Rattata, I think it was Rattata, is chilling somewhere on this floor, and we're still out of PP. I forgot all about that. At least we don't have a boss battle. I guess that's the good news here. Is that, okay. Rattata's got to be around here somewhere, right? It's chilling in one of these corners, probably hiding somewhere. Rattata, there you are. Hey, get get back here. Okay, no, nope, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. There we go. <laughs> I got him. Oh, man, there's a pincer, too. He's Rattata. Yep. All right. So we managed to save Rattata. And Magnemite actually... I don't know if Magnemite was useful or not in this. Um, he seemed... I mean, that Thundershock was really nice to know that he had because he's able to take on the flying types really easy. But, eh. I don't know if he was that much help. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward of 100 poke. Awesome. We also received... Oh, yay. 10 gravel rocks. Woo. So fantastic. Nothing like gravel rocks to put a smile on your face. Then we do good today. Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Am I the only one even curious where Cyndaquil sleeps? The rescue team's this part to the friend's area. If you want to add members to the rescue team, goes visit them in their friend areas. Would you like to rescue them? Having to go all the way to the friend area to get them is kind of annoying. I like in, um, I think Explores the Sky, you just have to go to Chimeco and she'll like automatically add the Pokemon to your team, which is a lot nicer, but... I guess I can't complain about everything, because I already do complain about everything, so maybe I need to stop that. <laughs> Good morning, Hardy. Flap, flap, flap. Maybe it's something useful today instead of random Pokemon information we already know about this game, you stupid Pelipper. I'm not trying to be rude, but seriously. I was Zach. Oh, oh my god, it's a, it's a mission. I lost in a battle. Someone. It's a ball toy. Like, ooh, cherry berry. Um, heck yeah. We're going to accept that. Job list. And we're going to take it. But first, we got to go get Magnemite. Because we, we totally need Charlie if we're going to go on a rescue mission. Charlie's like, Charlie's everything. Charlie is God. Remember that. Charlie, Charlie makes your life worth living. So, never, you got you got to love Charlie. He's, he's always there for you. But before we go, let's go put some useless items into storage. Because I don't really think it's necessary to have, like, all, a lot of these things on here. So... Um, gravel rocks, I'm like probably never gonna use gravel rocks, so. Um, okay, uh, plain seed? I don't even know what plain seeds do. I wanna think they don't even like do anything. How about toolbox B? We got a ton of orange berries actually. I, I kinda like that. We probably don't need that many orange berries though. Uh, blast seed. Okay. Yeah, you know, I think that's it. I'm glad we have so many orange berries, actually. Let's see if we can get any useful TMs, though, because I would not mind, like, a water pulse would be nice. Let's see, do you have anything good? Uh, secret power. We don't have enough for that. That's actually too bad. Um, alright then. Let's just go on a rescue mission and go save things and... I don't remember what we're supposed to be saving. I want to think it's a ball toy, but I don't really remember. It doesn't matter. We're gonna go kill it, and it's gonna be amazing. Because we're amazing. Because... We're so good at this game. Alright, you know, I gotta, I better start saving my PP and not waste them all right off the bat like I did pretty much last time when all I did was use Scratch and because I still don't have Water Gun for some reason. Nobody wants to answer the question of why I don't have Water Gun because it, it seems like I should have Water Gun by now. I mean, I think I'm level 13 and I still haven't learned Water Gun or really any useful move besides, I guess Disable was kind of nice. I can't complain about Disable, actually, but, um... You know, I, I would still much rather have Water Gun, so <laughs> I, I will get it eventually. Someday I will get Water Gun, and it'll just be the greatest thing ever, because we will we will just start destroying everybody, because it's water, and it's a gun. 
It's a water gun. It doesn't get any worse than that. It doesn't get any more dangerous than a gun made of water. Do you know? Okay, nice. Dead end. Fantastic. Do you know how many people have nightmares a night thinking about like water guns? They're quite terrifying and you don't want to run into one of those things because they will make your life absolutely horrible. So the point I'm trying to get across here is where do you where do you think you're going, bro? You think you're running from me? You think you're too cool for school? Like you don't have to bother with me? Like you just you just walk away? No, that's not how it works here, Zigzagoon. You gotta you gotta come die by all hands. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, let's heal up a little Oh crud, another Zigzagoon. Um Turn around. Hey, okay, nice. Yeah, just attack the wall. Freaking Psyduck. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, nope, there's the stairs. Nope, just, just gonna walk away. If you don't mind. Like right here. Almost there. Almost got it. Okay, yeah, or you just kill him. I guess that works too. Anyways, on to level three of Mount Steel, where we have an Aron just chilling here. Oh my god, we got all, all three of our Pokemon can deal some damage to this Aron. He's not gonna. Okay, or, or Walter could just do that. Ruin all the fun, Walter. We were gonna gangbang this guy. And you just had to completely ruin it by just Ember. You just gotta take all the fun out of everything. I hope you realize that. This is why nobody likes you. This is why you live all alone. Because you take the fun out of everything. And nobody appreciates that. I I don't even know why I hang around you anymore. You just really just kind of become a drag lately. And I, I honestly don't know if I can continue being friends with you. Because you just... Oh my god, we keep picking a friggin' dead end pass. Ugh. Let's try this way, maybe. Is it up here? Yep, there's the stairs. They were right here this whole time. And I kept picking the wrong way. Good for me. Um, anyways, so one thing I've been trying to do with my commentaries lately is that I realized for a long time I've like started talking really fast. Like probably a lot faster than I should talk. Um, and I think it just... I, I don't really know like how to explain the effect it's had on my commentaries, but... I've been trying to like slow down my commentaries a little more than they used to be. You know, my I used to talk really fast, and I'm and I don't know why I would do that. I don't know if it was just being excited or what, but I, I'm trying to talk a little slower in my videos now. You know, make them a little more just kind of relaxed and laid back and enjoyable instead of being really like fast and and weird and like you know just random rambling forever and I know this is still just pretty much just random rambling but at least this like makes sense to a certain extent and I'm not just like yelling about random things like potato chips we need more potato chips what is the world gonna do without potato chips oh my god I'm just gonna go die because we don't have any potato chips and life just isn't worth living anymore why are we, how are we not leveled up yet? I, I want to know that. We've gotten a ton of experience. I mean, we didn't even level up when we got the 300 experience from that Skarmory. And, will you, Magnemite, will you kill freaking Geodude already? Jeez. Okay. We're just going to leave you here to do it. Still not leveling up. Um, any stairs in this room? Nope. Well, we have 106 Poké Dollars. That's actually pretty awesome. Okay, here are the stairs. We have a few more fours to go before we reach this thing. And you once again, the four change. And you know that means business is about to pick up. So, things are about to get intense up in here. I hope you guys realize, the music doesn't change at all. The music doesn't get any more intense, but, oh boy. You can feel it. You can feel it in your pants. Things things are about to get pretty freaking intense up in this place. And you don't, you don't even know what to do. You don't know how to respond. You don't know what to think. You just know. It's about to get, it's about to get real up in here. So, for all you out there who... You don't understand that it, it just got real. Guess what? It just got real. And we reached the destination for it, and I forgot what Pokemon we're looking for. I want to think it's a ball toy. And I'm guessing it's that ball toy. Yeah, ball toy was found. We're going to rescue him. Awesome. So that was a pretty pretty easy rescue mission. Um, we're not really having that much difficulty at this point. It's just kind of becoming, okay, let's just play until we get to the next dream sequence and like the next actual part of the story, which... Hopefully it shouldn't be that long. I think we should be getting a rank soon because I'm pretty sure we get the next rank at 40. And we should be getting there sometime soon. Ooh, Reviver Seed. Definitely going to have to go get that out of storage because those are really useful. Um, nope. Okay, I'm guessing we're really, really close to ranking up. It's got to be close. Then we do good today. Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good job, Cyndaquil. Still curious on where you sleep, but I guess I should probably stop thinking into that so much. 
I really want to find that out. It's driving me insane. Where the heck does that guy sleep? It's like, I, I just, I need to know. And anyways, um, <laughs> next time guys, we will be doing more rescue missions. Hopefully we'll be obtain our next rank by then. Maybe get some new teammates as well. So until then, thank you for watching. I'm Hardy Tegoyo. Peace.